The Il-2 ground attack aircraft. History of creation. In the late 1930s it became urgently necessary to create an armored attack aircraft. The experience of using aviation in military operations in Spain and China in 1937-1938 showed the vulnerability of low-flying planes to enemy fire from the ground. Work on the development of an armored ground attack aircraft was carried out by several design bureaus that participated in the competitive program provisionally named, Ivanov. Several prototypes were built, which did not fully meet the requirements of the military. The design bureau, headed by S. V. Ilyushin, at the time was busy completing work related to the organization of serial production of the DB-3 long-range bomber. Ilyushin was not officially involved in the Ivanov program, but nevertheless, in accordance with his vision of the role and tactics of attack aviation, he conducted his design studies. In January 1938 he proposed to build the designed by him two-seat armored attack aircraft superior to all airplanes produced under the Ivanov program. The government supported the designer's initiative and, at his request, relieved him of his post as chief of staff. Ilyushin II ground attack aircraft, which initially received the designation of LTAM-34FRN, flying tank with AM-34FRN engine, was a single-engine two-seat monoplane with semi-retractable in the main landing gear legs. The main feature of the plane was a streamlined armored hull, made of high-strength armored steel AB-1, created by the engineers and designers S. T. Kishkin and N. M. Sklyarov. AB-1 steel was characterized by excellent impact toughness, and allowed for stamping to produce armor parts with a double curvature surface. The new armor steel AB-1 and the new technology of its production made it possible to create an attack aircraft not with, hinged, as before but with, working, in other words incorporated into the power structure of the aircraft, armor protection. All extremely important parts of the aircraft, engine, cockpit, gasoline and oil systems were hidden in the streamlined armored hull. Tactical and Technical Characteristics of the Il-2 Attack Aircraft Engine. Type. 38F. Power. 1750 horsepower. Crew. 2. Wingspan. 14, 6 meters. Wing area. 38.5 square meters. Airplane length. 11.65 meters. Weight. Maximum takeoff weight. 6,160 kg. Empty. 4,625 kg. Full load. 1535 kg. Maximum speed at altitude. 405 km per hour. On the ground. 391 km per hour. Practical ceiling. 5,440 meters. Maximum range. 765 km. Armament 20 mm SHVAK cannon, 210 rounds per barrel, 2 pieces. 7.62 mm SHKAS machine gun, 750 rounds per machine gun, 2 pieces. Twelve point seven millimeters UBT machine gun, two hundred eighty rounds of ammunition. RO eighty two rockets, eight pieces. Aerial bombs, up to six hundred kilogram. Sergei Ilyushin. 1894 to 1977, was a Soviet aircraft designer, the founder of the Ilyushin Aviation Design Bureau. He designed the Il-2, Sturmovik, plane, which made its first flight in 1939. It is the most produced military aircraft, and remains the second most produced aircraft in history, having built more than 36,000 aircraft, after the American Cessna. With the outbreak of World War I in 1914, Ilyushin was drafted into the Russian Imperial Army, 
serving in the infantry and later, because he was literate, as a clerk in the Vologda military administration. When a request came in for seven volunteers to serve in the fledgling aviation unit, he quickly volunteered. At first he worked as a mechanic and a member of the ground crew. In the summer of 1917 he qualified as a pilot. In the fall of 1921, Ilyushin left military service. On September 21, 1921 he entered the Red Air Fleet Institute of Engineers, renamed the Zhukovsky Military Air Engineering Academy on September 9, 1922. Ilyushin received his engineering degree in 1926 and until November 1931 served as head of the aircraft section at the Scientific and Technical Committee of the Soviet Air Force, participating in the development of design requirements for new aircraft by Nikolai Polikarpov and Andrei Tupolev. His Il-2 single-engine attack aircraft, the most produced combat aircraft in history, 36,183 examples, and Il-4 twin-engine bomber, slightly more than 5,200 examples were built in all, were widely used in World War II on all fronts where the Soviets fought. In the first version of the aircraft water and oil radiators of the cooling and lubrication system were made movable. Then the radiators were made stationary and located next to each other in the armored casing behind the engine, and the cooling air came through a special channel located on top of the engine. The armored hull itself was made of pressed sheets of armor from 4 to 8 millimeters thick. A wooden tail part of the fuselage with a keel was attached to the armored hull, the wing and the tail were all metal, and the rudders were plated with canvas. The draft of BS-2 assault aircraft was presented to the customer in the beginning of 1939. Half a year later the first prototype of BSH-2 was built. On October 2, 1939 test pilot Kakinaki took the plane into the air for the first time. After completing state tests the plane was returned to the factory for engine replacement. Simultaneously with replacement of the engine for AM-38 the plane was converted into a single-seat aircraft. After the ground attack aircraft testing SV Ilyushin wrote a letter to Stalin with the request to put the plane into series production and in December 1940 he signed the order to produce 1,200 single-seat airplanes. In the first fights the Il-2 confirmed its combat effectiveness, hitting with rocket projectiles and cannon fire a wide variety of ground targets. But due to unprotected rear hemisphere single-seat Il-2 suffered heavy losses. In the middle of 1942 it was decided to return to the two-seat variant. During the Great Patriotic War the unique Il-2 airplane became the most mass-produced combat airplane of the USSR Air Forces, and accounted for 30% of the total number of combat vehicles. In total during the years of serial production 34,943 IL-2 and 1,211 training IL-2 were produced. 